Good morning, hello, I'm Professor Gordon. This is the Forks Supermodel Racing Review and Forks Briefing for uh, Saturday, uh, the 8th of um, April 2023. Yesterday we had a race, uh, so for Friday the 7th, Newcastle on the all weather at 4.10. We were on this uh, Hodds girl. Uh, we had a good girl at that. Uh, um, ultimate came third at 11 to 1. Um, uh, we took on really the tight end front two. Uh, uh, we had a, a pound per eight pound unit on three places at five to four, uh, so that's a hundred pounds for us. Uh, two pound win at thirteen and a half to one. Then we topped it up as it as it basically it stayed. We expected that to shorten up, but it didn't really. Uh, so we topped it up at uh, fourteen to one, uh, and so we ended up with three hundred pound win uh, and and a hundred pound place. So we had four hundred pounds on all or four pound if you. You know, mirroring this on the on the lower stakes. So, so we had half a unit exposure. Uh, what happened there? Then, well, uh, it got going. It, it started charging down the outside, and probably another uh, 30, 40 yards, uh, and it would have uh, overrun them. But it didn't manage to do it. But it was a reasonable result. Um, bear in mind the shortness of odds of the front two, which we thought we could take on, uh, and uh, this. This other one, which came second, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, Aramis Grey. That that ran above expectations. It was it was a decent horse. We just thought it'd be slightly outgunned. It was about ten uh, pounds down on the official ratings, uh, and uh, and that uh, that was a reasonable, uh, very good effort for that horse. Anyway, uh, so the count uh, came down slightly because of the way we skewed it. Uh, so it's. 63.9 uh, units roughly in profit overall from a peak of uh, 74 and a half so we're still in this drawdown period right today uh what have we got well we've got uh all amps on the weather 6 30. uh it's model 90. uh we've got a handicap uh, class six three-year-old 0 to 55 one mile four um there's uh there's six in the race uh the likely favorite uh is this um think champagne which has got a link through with um, uh, uh, Margaret Beaufort, which was number five. Uh, and uh, that's sort of weak, weak races. They're weak races and uh, relatively poor performances. Uh, so we're going to give those the chop. Um, the, one, the one we like as an anchor horse is this secret contact. It's been written up as a nap in the, uh, in the racing post, which is not helpful. But for our purposes, it's all right because we're going to use it as an anchor horse, which basically means we're going to use it as a uh, as sort of a getting our money back or, or nearly uh, if it wins. So, um, what do we like about uh, Secret Contact? Well, Secret Contact, uh, Lingfield 10, Model 94, a bit quicker. It was keen uh, in the rear and ran on nicely, big tick for that horse. Uh, and then it went to uh, Subtle 11, 1 mile 3. Uh, handicap modelled 89, slower, uh, but in the zone, a little bit slower. Uh, good performance there. So, uh, so that horse has got every right to uh, to do well. Secret contact. So we're using that as an anchor, and we've got a pound per eight pound unit on at 2.7 to one. So, 11 to four roughly, just shy of 11 to four. Uh, but the one we're going to have a good swing at is this uh, number three, Devine. Uh, so Devine. Um, We've got a, a pound three places at 13 to 8 on Sportsbook, uh, which is £100 for us, obviously, and a, and a pound win at 10 and a half at the moment. We're going to likely top that up. Uh, so we've got £3 overall, which is 0.375 exposure. We'll top it up to, uh, um, depending on how it goes, at, at least to half a unit. So uh, so another 100 on there, probably another pound in that case. Uh, what do we like about Duveen? Well, Duveen's, uh, it's it was running... Uh, to get its mark, it was running in some decent races uh, up against the Godolphin Brigade uh, and uh, fed obviously relatively poorly there. Uh, and, then it, uh, and then it came out, uh, Linfield 7, Model 97 quick, uh, keen in the rear. Fair enough, that was its, uh, I think that was its third run to get its mark. Uh, and then it's had a run at uh, Wolverhampton over 9.5, uh, so roughly 10 handicap. Uh, 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 and that was a relatively weak race, but but it, it had interference and looks like it's going to run on. That horse will be an improver, that horse, that Duveen. Uh, and at the likely odds, uh, 
you like to see uh, uh, a good uh, a good performance from it. So so having a swing at Duveen uh, and uh, a secret contact is is the one that's uh, got every right to do well. So uh, that's what we're doing there. So. Uh, um, 4x uh, yesterday was non-farm payrolls, although it was Easter Friday. So a lot of the markets were shut. Uh, we were, we closed our books the day before, so we were just looking at it in terms of general interest. Uh, uh, American data is coming in a bit. Uh, the the uh, um, payrolls and employment data is coming in soft. Uh, talk of a recession in America so it's going to temper off uh, the Fed's uh, ability to hike rates so so we may see uh, you may see dollar weakness going into next week but uh, we'll let you know what's going on a bit more when we when we see it uh, the Monday is, is Easter Monday again so the markets are going to be upset again so Tuesday is really the first kickoff day but uh, well anyway we'll keep you posted so uh, there we are then. So uh, yesterday not bad. Could have had a good result there, but didn't quite make it again. Uh, and today we're using we've got a decent anchor horse and uh, a good swing at Devine, uh number three uh, in the six thirty at Wolverhampton. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.